on my YouTube channel. We are in Australia and I already uploaded part one of this whole trip on my YouTube channel so you can go check it out. I've really enjoyed the days in Australia in this country actually and now it's Thursday the work the proper work the proper track action is starting because um, yeah we did the track walk already yesterday the track looks insane it's super quick and I cannot wait to drive here for the first time tomorrow morning at 8.50 actually super early. Um, but yeah I got changed quickly because I took some pictures um, and this is my new racing stuff from Alpine actually in Alpine colors now the car is gonna be changed for Imola race weekend so round three of the whole season um, and yeah happy to be here the sun is actually coming up now um, we'll just have some meetings today drivers briefing media stuff fan activities and then we'll have free practice in college tomorrow morning or tomorrow and I'm gonna take you guys with me obviously Jan is not here so be nice with Papa's and my mine filming skills and cutting skills but we'll try our best the car arrived safely as well so that's good and yeah I'm gonna see you guys later and peace out <laughs> Like it's actually the sim models were not so reliable and so good because the track is a little bit different in real life. Um, like the curves and the corner radius sits in some corners so um, yeah it was a little bit messy, one red flag and just chaos because everyone was doing different strategies with like push lap and cool lap so it was a little bit messy out there but the track looks insane. That's why we struggled yesterday and then this morning in race one it was dry for us now it's raining so not that nice but um yeah we started 24 and i had a massive good start it was really good actually um and gained some positions but then yeah we just couldn't keep up with the pace so we finished p19 actually gained some position which was good but still struggling a little bit so we actually got to try to see if we can do like a big change for tomorrow to just try something um, but for sure we have like four test days in total in two weeks so we'll for sure try and work and figure out some stuff but um, yeah all in all super nice to be here the Aussies are really cool the fans and so on it's, it's really nice just the weather is super crazy um, F1 had a try and half wet free practice right now and we'll see how poly for them is later and also for F2 but um, yeah I'm gonna try and see if I'm actually gonna introduce you my team now so my two mechanics and my engineer David so you guys know who 
Oh, actually, the guys are working with the team. Oh my god, so yeah, he does. Hello! Hello. So this is Fran. Fran. How do you pronounce it? Fran. Fran, yeah, but like the whole name, Francis Francisco. Fran yes. Francisco. And he's my first mechanic on my car, right? Yes. Team and fine. you're also the chief mechanic of the whole team? Yeah, correct. Since how many years are you actually a mechanic in a free? Uh, this is gonna be my fourth year here. And also, I've always been in this team. And you're from Spain, right? Yeah, from the northwest. From the northwest. And how many sisters do you have? I have uh, four sisters and one brother. <laughs> <laughs> older than me, yeah. And you're happy to be my mechanic this year? Uh, absolutely, yes. It's actually quite nice. Fab! <laughs> Thank you! Hello! That's fun. <laughs> So it's Sunday, it's race two coming up very soon. It's actually 6.45 now. We had the time got changed this morning, so we gained one hour, but it's still too early for Sunday, but because our race is like at nine something, so we have to be here really early. And look at this. Look at the skyline. From Melbourne. It's beautiful. And actually yesterday we finished P16 because um, three cars from one team got disqualified because they modified something on the car. So yeah, P16 yesterday coming from P24. So we'll see what we can do today. I'm gonna start P24 again, so he's out. Hello. Hello. Hola. Hola. Como esta? Alles good, alles good. Wait, I need to do my, my YouTube video. For me so now. tell me your name. So this is Eduardo. Eduardo. And you're my second mechanic, right? Tire man. Yeah, my tire man. And my second mechanic. Come on. You like your job? Yeah, of course. Yeah. I, yeah, I love it. Fine. Thank you. <laughs> vlog now um thank you very much for tuning in melbourne was fun albert park is an amazing track and i was enjoying it really a lot this weekend also so many fans were there and so many girls and women which is always really nice to see so um yeah thanks for everyone who came actually um and then yeah you don't say we actually started p23 we finished p18 start was good but then the initial first lap wasn't really Perfect, so we lost some positions, um, but then yeah, it was a really messy race with safety cars again So um, in general, I mean yesterday p16 today p18 for sure There's still many things we need to improve and many things to take away from this week or weekend um, But yeah next is actually two test days in Barcelona and then two test days in Imola um, And the next round will also be in Imola mid-May, so there's yeah, kind of a break now, so we'll try to really yeah, go into detail and figure out what we can improve and um, yeah, where we can gain time. So a lot of work ahead of us, but um, Australia was amazing. I love this country, the people. Um, it was insane. So really happy to come back at some point. Um, and yeah, I'm gonna fly back home now. So thanks for watching. And um, yeah, sorry again for not the perfect filming skills, but yeah, I'm with you. So it was not really easy. Um, and obviously also there's more people from my team, but um, yeah, I don't really have the time to film. So we'll continue showing you my team in the next videos. Peace out and thank you for watching. So guys, um, on my last YouTube video I asked you guys what you want to see more, or what you want to know actually, and um, I looked at it, obviously, some of those things are actually difficult because you know, in Formula Junior classes, the teams are really strict of what you are allowed to show, like data and so on. Um, but one of you actually asked me how I prepare for race weekend like Australia now, because for those who don't know, F3 and F2 has never been here, so it's a new track for all drivers and teams. Um, normally, like on usual tracks in Europe, teams always have video material um, from that series. If not from that series, they actually have it from like the past or different series 
um, or you have obviously a lot of data. Um, as a driver, I mean, I've always also been racing in cars now for some time. You've been to most of the tracks like Rapporing or Monza, I know really good. So obviously like braking points, they change a little bit throughout uh, the cars, but it's the driving style of the corners and the char char characteristics of the tracks are always similar. Um, but now, for example, track like Australia, obviously um, you really watch quite a lot of F1 footage um, just to see like um, how the track is going. Obviously, F1 is a lot quicker, you have a lot of more, uh, more downforce, but still like the basics are similar. And then you spend a lot of time on the simulator. Like I've spent hours at home on the sim. I've spent hours in the sim at the factory um, to go through like some details, but obviously also, especially on street circuits, which Australia now is, um, the track models are not always perfect, um, but we've been using a set of Corsa and the FIO3 model there. Um, and then, yeah, you just try to go through everything with the engineer. Like, um, that's kind of most important. We did the track walk yesterday. The track walk is always on new tracks, really important as well to see bumps, to see the characteristics. You go into the corner, watching it from the inside, watching it from the outside, watching it from before the corner. Um, just to kind of, yeah, also get your reference points for brake points, for steering, ste turn in points, um, and so on. And yeah, because we don't have so much track time here in F3, the free practice tomorrow morning is gonna be really important, just to kind of get your hand around the track and to be prepared as much as possible for quality, because uh, in the end, quality is most important here. Um, and yeah, that's kind of um, how we work.